That moment, that moment when you're ready to give up, to throw in the towel, to say I've had enough, I can't go on, I'm trapped, I'm in struggle, I'm in resistance, I'm in anger and fear all at the same time. It seems like I'm going crazy, it seems like I'm disconnected from the one, the one thing, the one source, the one piece of inspiration that can carry me forward into the next moment. Just that next little piece of information to help me thrive, to edge me closer to my dreams, to edge me closer to my soul's purpose and desire, why I'm here at this time. You see, it wasn't always like this. Born with eyes wide, viewing the world, a picturesque landscape in which to explore and journey and adventure in. And little by little, we pick up dust in our heels, dirt between our toes, and we make the dirt mean us. We mean that the dirt is us. We don't feel whole, little by little, day after day, year after year, the dirt starts to encroach upon our being and steal from us the very thing that we know we are, eternal and simply amazing. But as we forge through life, pursuing our dreams and ambitions, connecting with people, looking for that inspiration that has always dwelled within us. We secretly give our power away. We give our power away to those people, places, circumstances and events that don't seek to own us, that we have let create us. And so in every moment, we find ourselves asking the question, why me? Why now? Why not something else? Why not someone else? This is the dilemma of many. The dilemma of hopelessness, the dilemma of fear, of separateness from the one from the one source of infinite power, that creational flame, that spark, that soul ignition within you, that carries you forward, that beckons you to the next moment, the next possibility. It's always there. So as you grow as a child, into teens, your relationships, your friendships, your schooling, everything around you is asking you to fight for your very existence. Everything around you is asking you to prove yourself. Everything around you is asking you to be more than who you really are. More in this moment, more in the next moment. The grades, the permission slips, the judgment, the fallout of bad decisions. All of these things weigh heavy upon your soul and yet secretly burning as the eternal flame in the darkest night, you are still lighting the way you still find hope in the darkness. You still forge ahead. You still have that power within you, although seemingly forgotten. And so you take on life. You take on what everyone else is saying and doing and being at that time. The education, the job, the family, the children, your future. What does it look like? Who is it really for? Is it what I really wanted? Is it adding meaning and value to my life? These questions burn so deeply in your soul and you question your very existence yet again. Have I arrived at the place I'm meant to be? Is this my destiny? Is this all that life is about? Is this all that I can create in my world? And so yet again, we question, am I on the right path? What is the meaning of life? Who am I really? What do I stand for? What will I stand up for? And again, your soul, the eternal flame burning brightly, calls you forward, edging you, beckoning you, waiting patiently, ahead of time and outside of space, to do the brilliant, to do the seemingly impossible, to run the gauntlet yet again, to move mountains with your mind, and to love the life you step forward into Every single moment, what is possible for you? Everything is possible for you. What awaits you is your grandest dreams, your highest, highest vision. There is no limit to your soul. There is no limit to your experience. All the world's noise and distractions, pushing and pulling you, trying to keep you on a path destined for a predetermined future and determined by someone else, some other power, that's not who you are, and you secretly know this. Move forward 
Move forward. Don't give up. You inspire many through your own presence, through your own being, through who you really are. You inspire many. Continue to move forward. Ask the next question, the higher question. What can I do today to bring peace and joy and abundance to my world? And in doing so, sharing that with others and lighting the way for others so that they too can see their way out. They too can see their way free of control and the past and apathy and fear and judgment and the deep feelings of unwantedness and unloved. Keep moving forward. Keep moving the dial. Keep shifting the needle on your life. Keep asking those big questions of yourself. How far can this go? How far can I take this? How far is never too far. Move yourself forward. You are possible. You are unlimited. You are incredible. Keep moving forward. <laughs>